Hello, this is DJ Mega Age 17 and I'm back with another review. This time I will be reviewing the Drago Master of Spinjitzu. Now, Ninjago is another Lego show that Cartoon Network decided to air. So far, I would say they have three. Yeah, I know of them anyway. The first one was like Star Wars. The Lego show. The second one is Ninjago. The third one looks like a Lego version of Thundercats. It's not Thundercats, it just looks like it. I'm not sure what the name of it is. I believe it starts with an S. Um, Actually, I, I, I forgot what the name of it was. I'm not sure if it's Aaron or not, so if it is, and you've seen it, and you want me to check it out, let me know in the comment section or whatever. Anyway, Ninjago is the second Lego show that Cartoon Network decided to air for whatever. Um, the show is pretty much a Lego Ninja show. Um, this... The synopsis of the plot, I'm trying to explain the best way I can. It's pretty much like this. The has been in peace for some time now, and these four ninjas have gained new powers and are beginning to discover these powers and discover their destiny and potential and whatnot. And. While this is happening, a new evil is arising, and this evil is known as the Serpentine, which are a bunch of snakes, pretty much. And their mission is to typically take over the world with the use of a weapon called Fang Blade. The ninjas have the four weapons called the Golden Weapons, which enhance their abilities. Now, what they can do is, as far as their power is concerned, is pretty much them spinning with elemental powers, hence why it's called Ninjago Master of Spin Jitsu. It's elemental spinning, like tornadoes, pretty much. But not huge, it's just, it's just as big as they are. Anyway, let's get into the characters. First, we're going to get into the Red Ninja, whose name is Kai. He's, well, the Red Ninja. His power is fire. He has a younger sister named Mia, who the next ninja I'm about to mention has a crush on and whatnot. The next ninja I'm going to mention, his name is Jay. He's the Blue Ninja, his power is ice, I believe. And, as I said, he, he's into younger sister Mia. But the thing is with their relationship is that it's not only just them liking each other, they actually generally go on dates and whatnot, which I actually did like. Because usually when they do stuff like this, it's just, it's just you know, they have, I guess, moments every now and again, but they don't really take it any further than that. I actually like the fact that they actually legitimately start dating. And it, has, and it actually helps further the plot because it helps further his storyline. So I actually like that. The next ninja is the black ninja. Because <laughs> the ninja wears black, his name is um Cole. I believe that's what his name was. His power is Earth. And he's like the comic relief character, which I found odd. Because the way he looks, he looks like he would be the more serious one. The goofy one. Well, they're all kind of goofy. Because he's the most goofy of them because he, he's the one that cracks the most jokes and all of that. I'm just saying, he looks more serious and. I don't know, it's just. He, was, he, just, he looked more serious. I was surprised that he would be the, goof, the most goofy one out of all of them. I was expecting Kai to be the most goofy of them. I guess because he's somewhat of the main character. Of. But then again, he has more of a cocky attitude too. Whatever. Moving on, the next ninja, the fourth ninja is. What's that dude's name? Oh, snap, I think I forgot what it is. Um. I'll look it up in a minute. Anyways, dude is the white ninja. Zane, there you go, Zane. 
I think that's what this is, Zane. Wow, how much was that? The probably should check anyway, just to make sure. But anyway, his, yeah, I'm pretty sure his name is Zane. He's the White Ninja, his power is Lightning. And he is a robot. I believe he's a robot. He might be a cyborg, but I think he's actually a robot. Which I find interesting. What's even more interesting about this is that in the beginning of the series, he didn't know he was a robot until like this episode, until like later on in the episode when they, you know, when they're trying to discover their destinies and whatnot. He finds out like they were making jokes about how he, about how the, about the fact that he was able to like stay on the water for like five minutes because they were always amazed by that. And then they find out, well, he's a robot, so that's why he's able to do that. It's actually kind of interesting. I actually like that. Like Cole's history also was kind of interesting because later on, find out he used to do doo op. And they had this episode where they had to do like a doo op scene, a doo op challenge to um stop the serpentine from getting something. I thought that was kind of cool. They have like little things like that in the show. You also have like some of the other characters. You have. You have Wu, who's their sensei. You have his brother, who's also like the main villain of the show. His name is um Garmadon. And you have Garmadon's son, who would be Wu's nephew, named Lloyd. And, of course, you have Mia. And a few other people. Mainly the people's parents and loved ones. So those are like all the main characters. I should also mention that um with Garmadon, he doesn't show up until like later on. Because the thing is that Lloyd he he gets himself into trouble with the serpentine and he gets kidnapped. So Wu has to go and break his brother out of the dimension that he was trapped in or locked away in and break him out so he can so he can save his son. And they do team up until they beat the Serpentine, which is like thirteen episodes in. That's another thing too, it's like the show is kinda of split into like two arcs or two parts. Because the show is like twenty six episodes long. But the first thirteen the first thirteen episodes, which would be the first half of the show, is about stopping the Serpentine and the second half is about stopping Garmadon and the evil spirit that takes over him later on. Another thing I also have to mention is the fact that the ninjas were also trying to become what would be the ultimate master spinjutsu, i.e. the green ninja. However, they later find out that, you know, that isn't going to work out too well for them because someone else wound up being the green ninja. I don't want to give too much spoilers with that, but I think I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I think I... Oh yeah, just one more thing I need to mention, which is... This is also kind of a spoiler too, but it's kind of like his back... Oh, Gamera's backstory how he became evil. Pretty much he got bit by a serpentine, and it turned him evil. Yeah, that's really... That's really his backstory. Oh, I forgot another person. We also have this other guy who... Who goes? Who's trying to become a ninja? Yeah, he's the real comic relief for the show. He goes. He calls himself the Brown Ninja. He's pretty much an aspiring ninja. He wants to become a ninja, and he doesn't until like the very end, where he becomes like a substitute ninja, kind of. It's 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 really funny. Oh, I like this character so. I'm not, I'm not sure what his new real name was. I'm not sure if they ever revealed it. If they did, I I most likely missed it. Anyway, that's pretty much the show. Oh, I probably should also mention that they fight pirates at some point, which was just random. Really, it was like a random episode. It felt like a filler episode for the most part, except for like the very end of it. But really, it was like ninjas versus pirates, which I thought was it was pretty cool to see, but it was random. Anyway, I actually did like the show more than I thought I would. I, because when I first saw it, I was like, "Yeah, this show looks like it's 
Doesn't look, doesn't look all that interesting. It looks like another stupid show. But it was actually quite enjoyable. It has some pretty solid character development, story development. It just the show flowed well. It wasn't too long or too short. Like I thoroughly actually did enjoy the show. I would actually recommend it. The Star Wars one, I not sure. I didn't really watch much of it, and I don't remember hearing too many good reviews about it. But this one, I this one I would recommend. I'm hoping that the next Lego show they're making or planning to air is as good, if not better, than this. But we'll see. Anyway, I actually really did enjoy the show. It's a, it's, it's a fun show. Remember, there's only 26 episodes, so. It airs all the time on Cartoon Deck right now. It airs like, um. It airs during the day. If you're. So, well, since it's still summer, you can kind of catch it. Because it airs at noon. No, wait, not at noon. In the morning. Yeah, it airs like in the morning, like at 9, I think. Anyway. So that's my review of it. I give it a seven out of ten. I should probably um before I end the video, let you know my new rating system. I will also put it in the description of this video. But anyway, here's my rating system. I give my rating system is on a scale from one to ten. Well, ten being the best and one being the worst. All right, ten. This is how I say it. This is how my all my rating system go. Ten is for excellent, nine is for great, eight is for very good, seven is for good, six is for average, five is for okay, four is for subpar, three is for mediocre, two is for bad, one is for terrible, and anything below that means I thought the thing was just complete and other garbage. So I give it for a It was a good show. I'm doing it. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a um, rate, comment, subscribe. And that's about it. This is DJ Mega 17 and I'm out. Enjoy your day.